alone. It's been so long since I've done anything. I've just been super busy working. Anyway, um, I'm going to be doing something a bit different, which I saw and I thought, oh, let me give it a go. Um, yep. So we're going to be doing cheat apple turnover. Yes, you heard me right. Cheat apple turnover. I'll explain. So for the ingredients, you need two beaten eggs, which I've got in my bowl here with some milk, I'll explain why in a sec, some sugar as well, I've got about a tablespoon, I'd yep. say, I've got my apple sauce, which you'll know what I'm going to be doing with that in a sec, don't worry, flour, which you can use self-raising more plain, doesn't really matter, I'm really well puff pastry, yes it is the cheats today, it's Sunday, why not, right, so, what we need to do first, obviously I've washed my hands, first priority, but it needs must. Right, so, I've got a bit more space to manoeuvre, so it's better. So what you need to do is you need to cut your puff pastry into squares. So I'm going to go, I can't cut very straight, so please be ignored if it's not straight. Go down in the middle. Okay, and across. The thing is, it doesn't need to be perfect because it's homemade, so it doesn't really need to be perfect. At the end of the day, it's what you want it to, to be, really. And this is how you'd make, how I'd make sausage rolls as well, same way, exactly the same, by cutting yeah. it out and then putting your sausage meat in. Right, so got it lovely and floured. It's perfect. Like it. I am really, really sorry, guys. I've not been available to do anything. But Darren's kept you in good, uh, good hands. Haven't I've you? tried. <laughs> right, um, so our treat apple sauce. Yes, you heard right. Why not? It would take too long just to make all that as well. It would. So, in the corner, you want to be fairly generous. Alright. Now, apple turnover, I don't know if it's a traditional English pastry or not. I'm not too sure. But, it's literally, if you want to do it normally, what you do is you get like, your cooking apples. You peel them chop them up into small cubes and then um, mix them up with some sugar. You don't need to cook them and put them straight in. And basically the sugar will act like a sauce. So you get like a really nice sauce. But this way I haven't got to do all of that because the people at the lovely supermarket have done it all for me. So it's just so much easier. I'm gonna go, uh, do you want them triangle or do you want them any old shape? Any old shape would do. Okay, sorry, I've got the cold again. When somebody says any old shape, in my head that means any old shape. Now, I don't know how sweet the apple sauce is, so... Well, it's the first time we're using it, isn't it? Yeah, so I'm just going to put a touch of sugar, just a little bit, not a lot, just a tiny bit. Because you'd be adding sugar on top anyway, wouldn't exactly. you? Exactly. Darren has been watching my cooking stuff too long now. Been with you long enough. Well, yeah. Can't believe it's been so long since I've done anything cooking wise. Oh, there you go. You've been busy with your job. Yeah, proper busy. Right, so I'm gonna go this way because I can see right away it's not gonna work because of triangle so it's fine. It doesn't matter. Like I said, it don't matter. It's whatever shape you want it to be. <coughs> so the filling is in the middle. I'm just gonna squish it a little bit. Just a touch, not a lot. So I know that the filling is there. So I, next time I know, I can put a bit more filling in there, like here, but it's fine, it doesn't matter. 
No. Can you cut that excess off? Can do, but I'm not gonna. It's fine, it'll puff up anyway, it's fine. Now, unfortunately, I can't actually eat this. Well, not until Tuesday. Not until tomorrow. No, Tuesday, because you break your fast tomorrow. Yeah, I break my fast tomorrow so I can eat from tomorrow. Because I'll be cooking fish curry, won't I? Break my fast. So there's one. It's a bit big, but it doesn't matter. Don't mind. Bit of eggy wash. Mm. Just to help the sugar stick. You can put cinnamon in this if you want. You can put whatever you want, really. Just a little fun thing to do on a Sunday afternoon. Yeah, well, it's really Wind, windy and wet outside. So. Yeah, it's not the best of weathers, is it? No. Right, so pinch of sugar. Literally, sprinkle. Not too much. And as you can see, you can see where the sugar is because it's kind of glistening in there. So it's pretty cool. Like that. I might just go halves again. What do you reckon? Was that going to be too small? What do you think if I go halves again? That's fine. <clears throat> if I go halves again. Then you just put a little bit of sauce in there, isn't it? Yeah, and then go that way. Just do mini ones. I'll go that way. Yeah, I'll just do mini ones. Yeah. Hmm? See, this, this is all about cooking. But apparently, according to my star sign, I shouldn't be cooking. I've got four out of ten for my mum's <laughs> birthday. So. so not too much of a filling, just a little bit. Touch of sugar again, not too much because I don't know how sweet this is and I don't know if I want it, if I can eat it, so I'm not going to, just in case I can't. Well, you can't because you're using eggs, so you're not allowed any eggs. No, they're apple sauce. Oh, all right. Right, let's see how we're going to do this one. That way? If you cross one over, then cross the other one the other way. What, go that way first? No, don't lift them both up. That way? Yeah, and then lap the other one over like an envelope. There you go. Then that way? Like <laughs> parcels. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's homemade, darling, and then fold it over. It really is like a little parcel. A little parcel of love. Okay. <laughs> I had this trouble last time when I made them as well. Don't worry if the egg falls out. I'm not worried. Just like a little parcel of love. I don't know how the professionals do it, where they could get like, get it all per perfect. It's just like, how? Well, you do it like, fold it over in a triangle. Try and get it in the triangle. Okay. How you see it done. What are you doing? You need more filling in that. Well no, if I put it there, in that corner there, Oh. 
It's probably having a triangle and then squeeze the ends on. And can you maneuver it to how I want it? Yeah. Sorry guys, keeping me in my back. It just looks like a smoother, but not quite a smoother. <laughs> Apple turnover smoothers. Oh, well, that sounds nice. <laughs> what? No? You said you wanted to make homemade smoothers. Yeah, I'm going to have to. They're easy. Dead, dead easy. And that's going to be another vlog there for you guys. Yep. And I will, will be able to eat them. That's turned out alright. Turned out a bit better. See, that's, that's how. They all have different shapes. Right, so I'm going to make some more. Can you switch that tray over? As I said, as a child, yeah. then you can experiment how you want it. Oh, that's a bit of a <laughs> funny, weird triangle. <laughs> You're definitely right about your cutting. <laughs> what the heck is that? <laughs> what the heck is that? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> If anybody can give Davina lessons on how to cut properly, please let us know in the comments below. I think she desperately needs help. Somebody needs help. You've only just realised now. Oh my god. Good job is not a professional, isn't it? You know. It's only taken you ten years to realise oh that. Oh god. Even I could have cut better than that. It's made with love, so shh. And this is going to be really diddy. Oh my god. I didn't realise you're doing yourself some mini versions. Yeah, I'm going to do that one. It's fine, I've got an idea. <laughs> what are you, the triangle police? If they do, they'll be arresting you. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is how not to do it. <laughs> oh god. Sarah, right. I need your help. <laughs> right, I'm sorry, I'm busy recording. So. <laughs>